It's time for Agriculture, presented by Tricana Farms in Germantown, New York, a small-scale producer of heritage breed livestock and a wide array of vegetables and berries on just over 39 acres. They also produce a full array of garden vegetables, many of them heirloom varieties raised naturally, as well as an assortment of berries, including raspberries, blackberries, gooseberries, black, red, and white currants, mulberries, and elderberries. And now, here's... In a time of uncertainty... One certainty is that one's feelings are going to ricochet all over the place. Mine certainly have. We all wonder what the world will look like in six months or a year, even though it's nearly impossible to know. Will we be in a post-COVID world or something more like John Ehrlichman's modified limited hangout or a pandemic? The future of New York City, the economic engine of this entire region, is in doubt. It's a metropolis built around office space in a world in which the diminished relevance of office space has been revealed by the ability of so many to work at home. Other pillars of its economy are tourism, culture, and restaurants, all reliant most of the year on bringing masses of people together indoors when both public health and the personal preferences of the millions at risk dictate avoiding just that. Back in May, I wrote, Whether what I'd call the pandexodus is temporary and simply an expression of the privileged class's ability to seek safety and comfort in hard times, or permanent in a way that will reshape the relationship between city and country in unforeseen ways, is the great question. At the time, I, whose self-image is closely tied to being a Gothamist, had no such uncertainty at that time about my own future. I said... I will, at the right time, eagerly go back to the place I always thought of as the center of the universe. Now, approaching six months of full-time residence on the farm, feeling very much at home, I'm not so sure. I'm wondering, see how, seeing how effective we've all been working remotely, whether my law practice needs a full New York office, or whether we could get by with just some allocated space in my apartment. Further, given how much I've reveled in the enjoyable daily component of outdoor physical labor the farm provides, I'm wondering whether I would be as happy, even post-COVID, returning to city life four days a week. I know I would miss the ability to be on top of weeding the vegetables and fighting back the descent of the perennial gardens into chaos. I would worry about Aisha, our 12-year-old blind you who repeatedly loses track of the rest of the flock and requires rescue to rejoin them. The farm has dozens of these constant attention needs, and it suffers from absentee supervision. If I could somehow avoid carrying the cost of both office and apartment, would I thereby put my financial life on a far more solid footing as we face uncertain times? If both the practical benefits of a physical base and the psychological benefits of city life are seeming so much less important, Should I fundamentally reorder my life? My uncertainty has been compounded by the state of my transition plans for the farm. The week before last, I got an email from the lovely young couple with the vegetable CSA who I had lined up to move their operation here and assume stewardship of the land at the end of this year. They backed out. The uncertainties of the COVID world had made them put a priority on certainty, which to them meant staying where they are a bit longer in the interest of buying their own land rather than committing to mine. I was discouraged, but then I recalled an email inquiry I'd received just three days earlier through the Columbia County Land Conservancy's Farmer Landowner Match Program from another couple. They're moving here from Illinois so one of them can assume a job as an, in an agricultural support and education agency. They want the other to operate a farm of about this size to feed themselves, generate additional income, and raise their daughters with the benefits of a farm and 4-H upbringing. We met via Zoom. I liked them very much. Discussions have proceeded apace. Our views of what a farm should be are in sync. A major sticking point, however, is housing. Everyone now knows that houses in the region are a hot commodity these days, thanks to the many folks who found COVID lockdowns and cramped apartments in the city unendurable and are looking for alternatives. If any of you know of houses in the immediate vicinity of the farm coming up for rent or sale, suitable for a family of five, please let me know. The uncertainty of whether I can pass 
on the operation of the farm to someone with youthful energy and a full-time commitment is one I'd very much like to resolve. Of course, I don't need to tell you about uncertainty. We all share the concerns about how the pandemic will change things. We all face transitions in how we live, and we're all facing uncertainty as to who will be entrusted to safely guide us as a collectivity through the minefield of dramatic change. I felt my spirits rise a week ago when presented at one political convention with the possibility of a government that put respect for truth, science, and competence at the center of its pandemic response and governing generally. I liked that they recognized the need for more help to those who are paying the highest economic price of COVID's uncontrolled spread. I felt my spirits fall back down this week as I heard the president and his minions say that we've done such a wonderful job addressing the pandemic and have such a healthy economy that we are the envy of the world. The president even promised a vaccine by the end of this year which I expect will be released right after the wonderful new health plan he's been promising for the last four years. What we really need to fear, his party claimed, is not the damage of the pandemic, but communist mobs threatening to deprive us of our liberty and devalue our property. I became anxious, not because I could see the mob making its way down Lasher Avenue, certainly it is not, but because I could envision enough people believing it will to give us four more years of dishonesty, ineptitude, and the undermining the structure of the government. All ingredients for yet more uncertainty. Agriculture is underwritten by Chicana Farms, LLC, a small-scale producer of heritage-bred livestock and a wide array of vegetables and berries on just over 39 acres in Germantown, New York. More information, 518-537-3815.